We're here down in the basement of River Journey, and this room behind me is what we call the quarantine room. It's uh, a place where we bring in a lot of our new animals. We'll come in here to, to be isolated before they go to exhibit, or in our case, a place where I like to put my young animals so they have a chance to grow up a little bit before going on exhibit. In this particular case, we have a southern stingray that was born just recently in Stingray Bay, actually. All the stingrays that live in Stingray Bay were born in the Secret Reef, so they were all born in-house as well. And this is the first pup to come from Stingray Bay. So uh, offspring from our, our older adults, and then they're mingling in Stingray Bay and actually produced a pup in there. Talking about all the ones in Stingray Bay being born in the Secret Reef, pretty regularly, you know, we'll find babies in that tank from, from our four adults that live in there. Uh, so I would bring them down here, grow them up a little bit, and then move them to Stingray Bay for the touch tank. Uh, but this is unique in that this is the first time the second generation has, has reproduced in that exhibit. To see reproduction like this is how you know that they're truly thriving. You, know, you can look at body condition and see that your animals are healthy, but uh, seeing the reproduction like this, it shows the animals are super comfortable. Uh, they're getting a good diet, a full enough diet, to, to feel healthy and happy and content enough to reproduce. We'll keep him down here for a while, make sure he's getting enough to eat, growing a little bit, uh, and then he can go to Stingray Bay himself as well. So right now he's just a little small, so he'll be out-competed for food. So we'll keep him down here, I don't know, maybe six months or so, let him grow up a little, uh, but he'll eventually go to Stingray Bay as well. 